student is Melissa from the Huron Public Library in Huron, Ohio. Thanks for joining me today. I'm so glad that you're here. And thanks to all my friends and families who are watching later today or later in this week or over and over again. Hi, everyone. Are you ready for story time? I'm ready. Okay, how do we start story time? When we <gasps> ring the chimes, it's story time. Are you ready? Can you count to three with me? Ready? One, two, three. All right, we rang the chimes. It's story time. And that means we need to get on our glasses. Can you put your fingers together like this and make some glasses? Let me grab my glasses. Here they are. Whoop, ta-da, I got my glasses on. Can you put your glasses on? Now put your hands together and make a book. And we're gonna open that book very slowly, ready? Whoop. And what do we do with that book? We read, 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 and look, look, look. And then we take off our glasses and we close our book. Can you sing along with me? Get those glasses. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and whoop, close up the book. Good job, everyone. Let me take off my glasses. And if you like that song, remember, it's by Wardy Berkner. You can listen to it online. Let, uh, let Ask a grown up. And there's one more thing we need for story time. How about our listening dust? Are you ready for some listening dust from head to toe? Let's get our listening dust. Hello, my friends. Listening dust from head to toe so we can be good listeners. Hi, everyone out there. There's some listening dust for you. Ooh, okay, let's get our check marks out. Did we ring the chimes? Check. Did we put on our glasses? Check. Did we get some listening dust? Check. Did we read our story yet? Not yet. And today's story is by Ken Wilson Max and pictures are by Manya Stojic. And we're gonna thank Scholastic Books for giving us permission to use their story today. Now their story, the story we're going to read today is called A Book of Letters. And right here on the front is my friend Zuzu. And she is going to write a letter to her friend, Abigail. And this is a funny, silly book because we're not just going to read letters that come in envelopes, but we're gonna go through all the letters in the alphabet. Are you ready? Let's see all the nice letters we're going to read in this story. Can you wake up your fingers? Are you ready? Let's open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Fold them in your lap, tap, tap. All right, here we go. A book of letters with every letter from A to Z. There's our friend Suzu, right there. I sent a letter to my friend Abigail Anderson, and this is what it said. See, there's the little envelope. It says, for Abby. Let's open it. Dear Abby, this is for you from me. It's an A, the first letter of the ABC. Pass it on. Send this letter on to someone new. So Abby got a letter because her name starts with A. I wonder who Abby sends a letter to. Let's see. Oh, there's Abby. There she is. Abigail Anderson sent a letter to her friend, Bunny Bernstein. And she wrote, Dear Bunny, this letter A is for me and the B is for you. Now here's what I would like you to do. 
send this letter on to someone new. Love, Abigail. So Abigail sent a letter to Bunny, and Bunny starts with B. Bunny Berenstein decided to send a message to her friend Christopher Clark for Valentine's Day. Dear Christopher, roses are red, violets are blue, the B is for me, and the C is for you. P.S. Pass it on. So Bunny, with a B, sent it to her friend Christopher with a C. There's Christopher. Christopher turned red when he read the note. He decided to scribble a few lines to his friend Daryl. Daryl. Dear Daryl Doodledoo, the C is for me and the D is for you. From Chris. Don't forget to keep this going. So Chris sent a letter to Daryl. Christopher's note made Daryl giggle. So he sent a letter to his pen pal on the other side of the world. Hmm, I wonder who Daryl will send a letter to. What comes after D? E, who starts with an E? <gasps> Dear Emil, so far away, the D is for me, the E is for you. Okay, love, Daryl. Send this on. Oh, there's Emil. Emil opened the letter and kept the stamp to put in his album. Then he wrote to his friend, Fernandan Fernandez. Whoa, dear Ferdy, fancy that, that the E is for me and the F is for you and your cat. Pass it on. All right, so Emil E sent it to Fernandan who starts with an F. Fernandan could have given the note to his big sister, Georgia, but he decided to pass it instead, just for fun. Oh, look at his cute little envelope. Who did he send it to? Oh, it says Georgia Green. Let's see. Oh, hi, Georgia. Look what I've got. An F is for me and a G is for you. Love, not Ferdy. Pass it on. <laughs> so he did mail a letter to his sister Georgie. He could have given it to her, but he mailed it to her. So we have Georgie now. Let's see. Georgia starts with the letter G. There's Georgia. Georgia was very proud of her little brother's note. She thought she would write to her friend Helga Helvinson, who was going away. Aw, it says, Dear Helga, the G is for me. I'm going to miss you. The H is for you. Hope you'll miss me too. Keep it going. And look, Georgia wrote it in the shape of a heart. Heart starts with H, just like Helga. So Helga opened her letter on the plane. She felt a little queasy. Irma, the flight attendant, made her feel better. So Helga gave her a thank you note. Oh, that's so nice. Helga wrote a thank you note to Miss Irma, the flight attendant. Let's open the letter. What does it say? Dear Miss Irma, you were so kind. Thank you so much. Here's an I for you. Please stay in touch, Helga. So do you think the flight attendant, Miss Irma, passed it on? Let's see, who does she send it to? Oh, Miss Irma smiled when she read her note. She sat down to type a letter to her long lost cousin, Jimmy. Dear long lost Jimmy, it's been so long. This I is for me and the J is for you. Love cousin Irma, pass this on to someone special. So I to J, who did Jimmy send it to? <coughs> Excuse me. Jimmy jumped for joy. He liked opening letters. He wrote a note to his nephew, Keenan, with a K. Hello, Keenan. Have a nice day. I've got a J and you've got a K. Love, Jimmy. Pass it on. All right. So Jimmy sent it to Keenan. And who's Keenan going to send it to? Oh, Keenan's dad helped him read his letter. He wrote to Lester Lancaster, his best friend from school, in his best handwriting. 
Ooh. K is for Keenan, L is for Lester from Keenan. Pass it on. So K to L. Let's see, here's Lester. Lester Lancaster wore glasses that made his eyes look big. He sent a letter to his sweetheart, Margot. What did he say to his, his sweetheart, Margot? Dear Margot, L is for Lester, M is for Margot. Who's next? Do you know? Love, Lester. So L is for Lester and M is for Margot. Margot blushed and she let out a little squeal. <laughs> then she gave a letter to her friend Nellie. Nellie, let's see, Nellie Nadu, how do you do? The M is for me and the N is for you. Love, Margot. Yes, don't forget to pass this on. So Margot sent a letter to Nellie, M to N. Nellie giggled. She decided to write to Ozzy, the boy from her dance class. Dear Oz, we have class on Friday at two. The N is for me, the O is for you. Love, Nellie. P.S. Pass it on. So the N is for Nellie. The O is for Ozzy. There's Ozzy. Ozzy made a note in his diary. Then he sent a letter to his pen pal, Pia. Hey, Pia, I love to dance, and my name starts with O. Yours starts with P, and you love to ski. Ozzy, pass it on. So Ozzy, O, sent it to Pia with a P. There's Pia. Pia laughed. That's silly, Oz, she thought, and she wrote a letter to her friend, Quinita Quinn. Oh, should we open it? Look. Quinita Quinn, how do you do? A P for me, a Q for you. Pia, please pass it on. All right. So Pia sent a letter to Quinita. P to Q. Shy Quinita Quinn was glad to hear from Pia. She sent a letter to her cousin, Rosie, who lived in the desert. Cousin Rosie, in the heat, protect your face and hands and feet. A Q for me, an R for you, love Quinita. P.S. Pass it on if you can. All right. So Q for Quinita, and she sent a letter to her cousin, Rosie, who starts with an R. Rosie sat down in the shade and wrote a letter to her friend, Sasha, who had just moved away. Aw. Dear Sasha, the R is mine and the S is for you. I hope you are fine. Love, Rosie and Rex. P.S. Send this on to a new friend. Meow. So Rosie with an R sent a letter to Sasha with an S. Sasha was happy to hear from Rosie and she was glad to have a reason to write to her new friend, Tamara. Dear Tammy, a quick note from me. My name starts with S and yours starts with T. Hugs and kisses, Sasha. P.S. Keep this going. Almost near the end, Sasha starts with an S and sent the letter to Tamara with a T. Who does Tamara send it to? <gasps> Tamara slurped her milkshake. She knew someone to send a letter to. Who does she send a letter to? Oh, Ursula. Ursula, Ursula, we're best friends. We too. The T is for me and the U is for you. Uh, Tammy, and she says, pass it on. So Tammy sends it to Ursula with a U. And Ursula, Ursula sent a letter to Vincent, the boy next door. Vinny, Vincent at number 23. I am U and you are V. Pass it on, Ursula. So U is Ursula and V is for Vincent. And there's Vincent. Vincent waved to Ursula from his window and then he sat down to write to his best friend, Wesley. Hi, Wes. A V is for Vinny and a W, that's for you. Vince. 
pass it on. All right, so we have Vince who sent a letter to Wesley. There's Wesley. All right, Wesley had a cousin named Xavier and he wrote to him right away. Hmm, Xavier, my friend, how do you do? A W for me and an X for you. Wes, and it says, hope you can pass it on. <gasps> Almost near the end. So Xavier is gonna get a letter. W for Wesley, X for Xavier. There's Xavier. Xavier chuckled when he read the note. He dropped a line to his sister, Yvette. Oh, see, Yvette Yardley. Oh, she's at camp. Should we open the letter? Let's see what he wrote her. Dear Yvette, how's camp? A big kiss from me, Mwah! X. And for you, a Y. Bye-bye, love Xavier. P.S. Please pass it on. And so we have Xavier X sent a letter to his sister Yvette with a Y. Yvette was having fun at camp, but she missed her brother too. She just had time to send a letter to Zuzu, her best friend. Dear Zuzu, here's something from me to you, a Y for me and a Z for you, Zuzu. Lots of love, Yvette. So Yvette sent the letter. It made it all the way back. Who did we start with? With Zuzu. There she is. And Zuzu is me. I'm going to send Abby a great surprise. So they sent letters to everyone in the letter of the alphabet. Should we open Zuzu's letter? Let's see. What did she, what did she send? Ooh, dear Abby. So here it is, the whole ABC. With a big thank you to everyone from me. Love, Zuzu. So they start it all over again. She's gonna send this to Abby and it starts all over again. Let's see, who got the letters? We had A for Abigail, B for Bunny, C for Christopher, D for Daryl, E for Emil, F for Ferdinand, G for Georgia, H for Helga, I for Irma, J for Jimmy, K for Keenan, L for Lester, M for Margo, N for Nellie, O for Ozzy, P for Pia, Q for Quinita, R for Rosie, S for Sasha, T for Tamara, U for Ursula, V for Vinny, W for Wesley, X for Xavier, Y for Yvette, and Z for Zuzu, who started it all. That's right. What letter does your name start with? Miss Melissa starts with, who had it? Oh, Miss Melissa starts with an M like Margo. What letter does your letters, your name start with? Well, that was a great story about letters and letters. And I was thinking, oh, I have a great song about letters. Now, I'm gonna need some help with this letter song. So if you wanna help me sing along at home, you can, but I need some help right now. Who do we need? It's Thursday, so we usually have a guest on Thursday. Who do you think's gonna help me sing our letter song today? Oh, Mr. Melissa! Everyone, let's cheer and hoot and holler. Everyone say hi, Mr. Melissa! Hello! Hi, Mr. Melissa. How do you do? Thank you for joining us. We just got done reading a book about letters, but not just the letters in the envelope, the alphabet letters. Uh, very familiar with the alphabet. And I have a really silly song that I could really use your help with, and it's about the letters in the alphabet. Can you help me? Yes. Now, this song is written by Bill Wellington, and we're gonna kind of tweak it a little bit to help our, our story and song today. So, uh, but I'm sure you can find the song somewhere online. But we're gonna sing a song together and let's see. Oh, I'm not gonna tell you the title of the story the song mm. just yet, but it's about school, and I know you're a teacher, and even though the song is about school, is it okay if we sing about it even though you're not in school anymore right now? Yeah. Okay. 
And I know lots of my friends out there aren't in school right now either, but it's okay if we sing a song about school, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, you mind swapping seats with Swap me? Swap seats. All right, we're gonna switch seats. All right, are you ready? Ready. Okay, here we go. There's a dog in school. Oh no. <laughs> what are we going to do? As long as there's a dog in school. Guess what? He'll have to learn his alphabet too. Do you know your alphabet dog? Oh, he does? Let's see. Woof, woof. Arf, 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 woof. Arf, 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 oof. Arf, 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 oof. Arf, 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 oof. Arf, 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 oof. Are you allowed to have a dog in school? No. No. No? I guess so. Some schools might allow dogs, but in our case, I'd say no. All right, let's see. Who else could there be? Um, there's a pig in school. Oh no, what are we going to do? As long as there's a pig in school, he'll have to learn his alphabet too. Does the pig know his alphabet? All right, let's see. Can there be a pig in school? No. What? No pigs in this school. Sorry, can't have a pig in our school. All right, how about, let's see, there's, uh-oh, a chicken in school. Oh, no, what are we going to do as long as there's a chicken in school? He'll have, oh, she'll have to learn the alphabet, too. Do you know the alphabet chicken? <laughs> All right, let's see. <laughs> that chicken became a diva all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Raise chickens in your classroom from eggs, but I don't think we should have chickens in our school. Do you think we should have chickens in our school? No. no. <laughs> well, I don't know if there's anything else we could have in our school. Is there a uh oh <laughs> a cow? <laughs> there's a cow in school. Oh no. What are we going to do as long as there's a cow in school? She'll have to learn her alphabet too. All right, do cows know their alphabet? Let's see. on the diva diva jerk right? yeah. <laughs> such a diva can cows be in school no no i don't think there are gonna be a cow in school well would you want a cow in school let's see now i don't think there could be anything else in 
school. Quack, 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 quack. There's a duck in school. Oh no, what are we going to do? As long as there's a duck in school, he'll have to learn the alphabet too. All right, sing it, duck. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. Can you have a duck in school? No. Oh. <laughs> the duck wants to be in school. All right. That's it. There can't be any more animals in school, can there? Can there? Oh, no. Oh. There's ah! a cat in school. Oh, no. What are we going to do? As long as there's a cat in school, she'll have to learn her alphabet too. <coughs> mew, 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 mew. You warmed up? Okay. Mew, mew, mew. Meow. <laughs> All right, do you know your alphabet? Here we go. Meow, 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 probably miss being in school but we're gonna sing if the kids were in school all right are you ready can you help sing along I bet you know the alphabet let's start there's some kids in school oh no what are we going to do as long as there's a kids in school or at home <laughs> They'll have to learn their alphabet, too. Can you sing it with me? Can you sing it with me? Yes. All right. Can you guys sing it with me? Yeah. yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's sing it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Did you sing along with us? Thank you so much for joining us in today's song. That song is called There's a Dog in School, and there's lots of different versions of that online, but the writer of that song is uh, Bill Wellington. And that leads me to tomorrow's Fun Friday activity. And you don't have to just do it on Friday. We are starting a new program for you to join me by writing. Like our story today, how we wrote letters. We got to see all the kids write letters. We are starting letters to the library. So here's something for you to me. Something from you to me. Now I'll write back. Just wait and see. So if you want to write some fan letters to Miss Melissa, I'd be glad to read them and even maybe write back. So look for that post tomorrow. It will have more details. And here's our address here on Public Library. And you want to make sure that they know it's from me. So we'll have all those details posted for you tomorrow. You can write a letter or draw me a picture. You can color a page or even write me a story. So if you wanna to write to Miss Melissa, look for that post tomorrow. And don't forget, when you send out your letter, oh, 
you're gonna need a stamp. So look for that post tomorrow for Fun Friday. Just like today's letter, Zuzu wrote letters to all of her friends from A to Z, and we did our alphabet A to Z. Pretty cool, huh? So if you wanna write to Miss Melissa, you can. Look for that post tomorrow. All right, my friends, what a long story time today. And let's thank Mr. Melissa for joining us today. Thank you, Mr. Melissa. Can you help us say goodbye to our friends? Sure can. All right, mm -hmm. let's say goodbye to our friends. Here, oh, friends, there they are. Can you say, see, see you later, later, alligator. Toodaloo, kangaroo. Give a hug, hug ladybug. Bug. Blow a kiss. Gold Goldfish. Fish. Oh, here it comes. Ready? Out, Out the, the door, door dinosaur. dinosaur. Bye, 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 butterfly. <laughs> See you soon, you old <laughs> baboon. <laughs> And let's wave goodbye, dragonfly. Bye-bye. All right. Can you make an O with your hands? Let's sing our goodbye song. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye. Oh, it's time to say goodbye. Give a smile and wink your eye. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, we'll see you next time, my friends. Don't forget to look for that post for Fun Friday. Letters to the library. Can't wait to see you again. Bye, my friends.